In the spring of 2023, a group of young men gathered under the desert sun in pursuit of a Little League championship. Next up we have the AAA Marlins, managed by Eddie Bracey. For everyone on the team, the season represented a chance to compete and learn the game. An opportunity to have fun. And the hope of bringing home the ring. The road to victory is not for the faint of heart. It requires dedication, sacrifice, and commitment to the team. In the spring of 2023, Coach Bracey and his Rincon Little League Marlins embarked on a memorable journey. A journey that would see them In the opening round, the Marlins squared off against the Red Sox. We are here at Purple Heart Park in Tucson. The leadoff hitter popped out to start the game. Sagan on the mound for the Marlins. Two runners on base. The Red Sox are looking for the first runs of the game. Blast to the gap will clear the bases and give the Red Sox the lead. A one out ground ball to short. Results in an out and the Red Sox take a four to nothing lead. Two outs, bases empty. Marlins looking to get out of the first. It's hard ground ball to short. And the Marlins get the out at first. Hitting to the bottom of the first. Red Sox leading four to nothing. The Marlins kick off the bottom of the first with fireworks of their own. Warren shows off his speed for single. with a shot to left and went all the way to the fence. There's going to be a play at the plate. Out at home. Nice play by the Red Sox. Juno steps to the plate. A hard ground ball. All the way to the fence. Rounding second. Going for home. That's a home run. Marlins narrow the gap for to two. Elijah draws a walk. Steals second. Hands up base running, puts him to third. Get it's in a run. Marlins pull within one. Jackson keeps the momentum going with a hard single to left. Two out, one on, Drew steps to the plate. It gets by the shortstop. Marlins tie the game, four to four. Zayden hits a hard ground ball, gobbled up by the second baseman. We come to the end of the first close game here in round one, all tied up after a walk. Zayden strikes out one, strikes out two, strikes out three, end of the inning.
Parker leads things off for the Marlins. Base hit to right field. After advancing to second on a pass ball, Tucker steals third. Tucker was stranded on base, and we move to the top of the third. After a walk, the Sox blast one into the gap. Stand-up double. And we get the first pitching change of the game. Number 10 takes the mound. Nice performance by Seenan. Holding the powerful Red Sox to just five runs. Juno closes out the top of the third with two strikeouts. And the Sox lead the game five to four. After a ground out to start the inning, Jack's ground ball is misplayed by the Sox. And he ends up at second base. Juno's ground ball is misplayed by the third baseman. And he heads to second. Runners at second and third. One out. Jet puts the ball in play. The runners will score. And Jet makes his way to third. Jackson steps to the plate with a chance to expand the lead, and he delivers. We head to the top of the fourth with the Marlins leading, 7-5. There's a K for the first out of the inning. Single to left, now 7-6. Another single to left. And a walk loads up the bases. Base hit to left field. One runner will score. Two runners score. All three runners score. Bases cleaning single, and the Sox take a 9 to 7 lead. An intentional walk puts runners at first and second. One out. The ball gets away from the catcher. Jax Bear hands it and throws the runner out at third. Jax to Warren for the second out. Great play, Marlins. Two out, one on, short pot fly, and that will end the inning as the Sox take the lead. And we head to the bottom of the fourth. No action in the bottom of the fourth as we move to the top of the fifth. Lead-off single. Short pop fly stumbles. Great reaction by the pitcher. Nearly doubled up at first. Two down. Looks like Marlins got a break on that call. That will end the inning. One more chance for the Marlins as they head into their final at bat. Hard eight for the Marlins. Another close game between these two teams as the Red Sox take the victory. 10 to seven, the Marlins will be on their last life as they head into the elimination bracket where they will take on the Mariners. Getting ready for game two of the Marlins playoff run against the Mariners. These two teams split the season series, with each team getting a victory in dominating fashion. High stakes today in this loser-go-home winner-take-all matchup.
Best of luck to the Mariners and Marlins. Looking forward to some big hits and great plays in the field. Jed leads things off with a walk. He moves to second with a steal. Jackson is hit by the pitch and makes his way to first. Another steal for the Marlins. First out of the game comes on a strikeout. Out number two on a pop out. Jet trying to get back to third. Drew draws a walk. Another batter hit by pitch, bringing home the first run of the game. After a couple more walks, the Marlins head to the bottom of the first with a three-run lead. Warren gets the nod for the Marlins, Jet. The wall hall is behind the plate. Rounder to second, and the runner beats the throw. A nice hit to left field. Warren gets his first strikeout of the game. Strikeout number two. A walk loads up the bases. And the Mariners get on the board. Three to one. Strikeout number three, two in the inning. Nice start for the Marlins. Satan walks and steals second. Elijah walks. Run batted in for Jed. Juno hit in the face by the pitch. The teams hold their collective breath. He is up and takes first base. Runner steals second. A walk for Jax. Another walk scores a run. And another walk scores the final run of the inning. Mariners get a hit to second. After a strikeout, two runs score on a triple. Marlins meeting on the mound to strategize. Warren gets two more strikeouts to end the inning. After a couple of walks, Seaton knocks in a run, and the Marlins extend their lead. 7-3 going into the bottom of the third. A couple of misplays and a rip down the line gives the Mariners life. The comeback continues, and the Mariners close the gap. Braden makes the play and left. Another big hit completes the five-run inning, and the Mariners take the lead 8-7. to seven. Final chance for the Marlins. Railing by one season on the line. Juno leads things off, but pops out. After a walk, Jack steals second. Another walk, and Jack steals third. Tying a run on third. Go ahead, run on first. Cam puts the ball in play to tie the game. Braden walks to load the bases. Critical time in the game, and the Mariners meet at the mound.
Tucker with the deep drive to right in the go ahead run score. Marlins now lead 11-8, looking to hold on for the win. Sagan gets the nod to close things out. Strikeout, one down. Oh my gosh, Runner is rounding the bases. It's a home run. And a single as the Mariners look to come back. Another Zagan strikeout, two down. Strikeout number three, and the Marlins come away with the victory. Final score, Marlins 11, Mariners 9. Marlins advance to the next round where they will play the Brewers. That is all for round two, and we will see you next time. Another elimination game as the Marlins face off against the Brewers. These two teams have played twice before, the most recent game ending in a tie. For today's call, I am joined by my friend Kevin Harlan. Thanks, Joe. Let's get it started and see what these teams can do. Winner moves on, loser goes home. Jackson on the mound, first pitch on the way, strike one. Brewers draw walk to start the game. Hard line drive, off Juno's glove. Good effort by the shortstop. Brewers winning one to nothing. Back to the pitcher. Safe at first, the ump calls him safe. Not so sure about that call. Let's look at it again. Close call. After a long to short out at first. Trying to double them up a third. Brewers score again. Jackson with a strikeout. This is our first night game of the tournament. Just a wonderful night for some ball here at Purple Heart Park. After a pitching change, the inning ends with a walk. Brewers lead five to nothing. Uphill battle for the Marlins to stave off elimination. Jed is first at the plate. One down. Jackson up next. Hard from ball! Bombing second. Coach Bracey waving him home. Home run, touch him all, Jackson. Marlins on the board, trailing 4-1. Juno advances to second on the overthrow. Runner going to third. Slides under the tank. Safe. Jacks at the plate. Railing 4 to 1. Puts the ball in play. Marlins pull within two. Strike out for out number one. Chopper to first, Ramon with the nice play. Out number two. Strikeout to yeah. the inning. We head into the bottom of the second. Marlins trailing four to two. Tucker with a rocket to right field. That's a single for Tucker. Runner on first, Sagan at the plate. He draws a walk. Tying run on first. Go ahead and run at the plate. 
Pin hits a hard foul ball to center field. Two runs score and the game is tied. And hustling to third, save a third. Ramon draws a base on balls. Warren draws a walk. And the Brewers go to their bullpen. Bases are loaded. Elijah coming to the plate. Brewers walk in a run, and the Marlins have their first lead of the game. Run ball up the middle. One run scores. Coach Bracey wins Warren home. Slides and saves. Clutch it by Jed. Marlins complete the five run inning and flip the momentum of the game. Going into the top of the third. Marlins leading seven to five. Strikeout. One down. Meeting at the mound with Jackson Juno. Talking strategy before the Brewers. Big bat steps to the plate. One strike. Two strikes. Catcher interference puts the runner on base. Look out, batter is brushed back. One more strike to get out of the inning. After a scoreless inning, we're heading to the bottom of the third. Marlins leading seven to five. Juno puts the ball in play. Jackson sprinting to home and scores. Marlins now lead 8 to 5. Close play, safe. Jax puts the ball in play and another run scores. <laughs> Marlins lead nine to five. Jack steals second. True puts the ball in play. Jack's waiting for the throw. Now he takes off to third. Safe at first and third. After a walk, Zeman with the sacrifice fly to bring in a run. Cam drills one to third. Warren walks and the Marlins cap off another five run inning. the strikeout for out number one. Another strikeout, two down. This win will give the Marlins comeback victories in back-to-back -back games. Maybe we are dealing with a team of destiny. Still a long way to go and many tough teams remain, but I think this Marlins team certainly has a shot. In and out at first gives the Marlins the victory. They will advance to rematch the Red Sox in a loser go home matchup. Cheers to the Marlins. They live to fight another day. He is Kevin, I am Joe, and we will see you next time.
much anticipated rematch as the Red Sox square off against the Marlins for the second time in these playoffs, fourth time this season. Joining me today is the legend himself, Mr. Michaels. Hello everyone, very excited to be here today and welcome to this quarterfinal matchup. The teams look ready to go. Here is the opening pitch. Drilled by Jed the Wall Hall, base it. Yeah. Very good, Jed. Nice slide into third base. Marlins threatening here in the first. the left. Jed scores. One to nothing Marlins. Jack steps to the plate. Hard ground ball. Look at that speed. Safe at first. There's a play at the plate. He's out. No wait. Safe. Welcome in Mr. Harlan everybody. Let's look at that play again. The runner clearly got under the tag. Marlins go up two to nothing. Tuck hits a sharp ball to right. Coach Bracey is sending through home. Another play at the plate. Sliding through his safe. That caps off a four on first inning. Zayden on the mound. Jed the wall behind the plate. First pitch, strike. Strike two. Strike three, one down. Excellent placement by the young rider. Shot to third. Nice play by Ken. Save a two. Shot to short. Safe at first. Cam fields the ball, force out of third, two down. Big hitter up for the Sox, strike three to end the inning. Zayden shuts him down, and we get into the second inning. The Marlins come up empty in their half of the second, inning into the bottom of two. Marlins leading four to one. Strikeout for Zayden. After a single up the middle, another strikeout for the righty. Crowder to Drew. Out of first. With Drew to Ramondo in the inning. Nice play by the infielders. We head to the top of the third. Marlins with a four go on advantage. Drew drives in a run with a single to right. Tucker with a hard ground ball. Who scores all the way from first. That ends the Marlins half of the inning. We move to the bottom of the third. After a couple of missed plays, the Red Sox are looking to close the gap. That's right. Hard ground ball to short. Out number three, and we head to the top of the fourth with the Marlins leading six to one. After a walk, Ellinger steals second. Braden gets to first base. Jid knocks in a run. Braden advances to third. Jackson blazing down the first baseline. Braden is safe at home. 
Have not seen speed like that since Ricky Henderson. Great hustle by the young track star. Marlon's bench bringing the energy as Tucker steps to the plate. After a couple of walks, Tucker gets a chance with the bases loaded. Devastating damage inflicted by Tuck. I feel like we have seen him do this a couple of times this tournament. Probably won't be the last time either. Your scores to give the Marlins a 10-run lead. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Marlins with a commanding lead. Let's sit back and take in the final outs of the game. The Marlins advance and will take on the Dodgers tomorrow. The winner of that game will advance to the finals. Dodgers and Marlins are set to play this semifinals game. Winner will advance to play the Blue Jays in the championship round. With me today is Joe Buck and Kevin Harlan. Excited to get this one underway from Purple Heart Park. The first pitch is in for a strike. Grab ball back to the pitcher. Easy toss to first, one away. Juno from the stretch. Failed but attempt two down. Line drive to right. That's a single for the first hit of the game. Strike two, runner stealing. Play at the back, safe. Great throw by the young catcher. Strike three, the Marlins complete the top of the first. Giving up one hit and zero runs. Marlins now get their opportunity at the plate. The wall sky is the first pitch to left. Drops in there for a hit. Getting that leadoff hit around base is critical. Great jump by Jed. Juno beats out a ground ball. Shed is trying for home. Close play at the plate. He is safe. The Marlins get on the board first as Juno gets the first run batting in the game. Jax follows up with another run batted in. Two to nothing Marlins. After Jack steals second and third, Tucker knocks in the third run of the inning. Three to nothing, Warren. 
Shaden ducks out of the way of ball four. Tucker trying to get into a pickle. Wesley retreats to second base. And heads to first on a walk. He gets to trot down the baseline and say hello to his dad. Marlins now have the bases loaded. Ramon draws a walk to score the fourth Marlin run of the inning. Just a beautiful day for a ball game here at Purple Heart Park. It really is a great day. Do you have any plans after the game, Joe? I might head over to my secret taco spot. They have this dish called carne seca. It's always on the menu when I'm visiting this town. I'll have to give it a try sometime. Dodgers get the third out of the inning, and we head to the top of the second. Yep. After a base hit to center field, Juno hits a batter and the Dodgers are rolling. Here comes a play at third. Chen applies the tag. He is out. Strike three. Two down. Chen with a diving attempt. Dodgers get their first run of the game. The pitcher takes the sign. Delivers strike three. And that will end the inning. Marlins come up empty in their half of the second, and we head to the top of three. After two walks, Marlins get their first out on a cold third strike. Ground ball to second base. Warren makes the play and throws him out first. Wait a minute. First base runner stayed at first. I don't think I've ever seen this before. The umpire trying to figure it out. Now a tag is being applied in the middle of the infield. After all that, the batter is out at first and the runner remains at first. After a steal, ground ball to Drew. Tosses it to Jed, makes a great play for the final out of the inning. Fourth and one, Marlins lead in the bottom of the third. Juno leading things off. Single to left, and the Marlins are looking to extend their lead. Juno steals third. Drew shows his keen eye and draws a walk, putting runners on the corners with one out. Tucker settling in, gets hit by the pitch. Base is loaded, save the plate. The ball is in play. One runner scores. Two runners score. Save is safe at first and we move to the top of the fourth. Warren takes the mound. Pop up to first. Aiden makes the play. One down. Jacks with the hot glove. Two down. Warren completes the one, two, three inning with a K. Nothing cooking in the fourth for the Marlins. We head to the top of the fifth with the Marlins leading six to one. Two quick outs by this Marlin defense. Warren from the stretch delivers out number three. Warren made all three outs in the field. Just a really great performance by Warren. Jed beats the throw to first. Jackson walks. Juno hit by pitch. Jax walks to seal the game. Marlins advance. Good game, Marlins! In the finals, the Marlins will take on the Blue Jays. Marlins will need to defeat them twice to take home the ring. 
Blue Jays have had an impressive run through the winter bracket, going undefeated and disposing of some pretty good teams. Marlins have defeated the Blue Jays twice in the regular season. It should be a competitive series. In the meantime, and headed out on the town to Ocharo for some carne seca. Looking forward to the championship series. See you all there at Purple Heart Park. Good night, everybody. Welcome to the first game of the championship series where the Marlins will take on the Blue Jays. Jet the wall leading things off in the first for the Marlins. A rocket to left. Great start for the Marlins. It's important for the Marlins to get up early. They do really well with playing with a lead. Speaking of getting up early, as Jed Steele second. Oh, went on a beautiful hike this morning up to Seven Falls Camp. Another hit for the Marlins. Jed scores on a run batted in by Zay. Next up is number 10, settling in at the plate. He smokes one down the line. Fair ball. Zay rounding second. Rounding third, he will score. Juno in there with a triple. He's making a play for home. This will be a home run. And the Marlins go up three to nothing. Fast start for the fish. And the celebration is on as the whole team leaves the dugout to welcome in the base runners. Next up for the Marlins is Jax. Jax is looking to continue the hot start. Jax pops one up. The pitcher can't get to it. He aggressively rounds first. Now settles in for single. Keeps the momentum going with another single. Marlins have runners on first and second, still no outs. And Ben with the blast. Both runners will score, and the Marlins cap off their perfect inning. Campaign triple wraps up the top of the first. Marlins leading five to nothing. In the bottom of the first, the Jays do some damage as well. See, gets the final batter on strikes. Marlins lead five to four. Roman giving us his rendition of the moonwalk. That's something I didn't think I would see today, but you've got to give it up for him. It's got some moves. Roman with the rocket to right. the ball in play. More good things happening for the Marlins. Runners on first and second. Jackson at the plate. Jackson with a towering ball to center. One run will score. Coach Bracey sending Warren. Rounding third. Sliding in the home safe. Jed scorches one to left. Number five stretches it into a double. Puts the ball in play. Nice job by the Jays to end the inning. Zigging back on the mound for the second inning. Scoring off against the Jays number two. Say freezes him with a nasty pitch. Strike three. Another strikeout for Say. Sending number 12 back to the bench. Here's the pitch. It gets under it. Out number three, and we head to the top of the third. Jenna leaves off the top of the third with the Marlins leading eight to four. Here is the pitch. He set up the middle. Critical time of the game here. Marlins trying to expand their lead to five. Jax launches one deep to left field. All the way to the fence. Juno will score. Jax in with a triple. Marlins up by five and looking for more. Drew up at the plate. He drives in and off a run. Tuck 
Hooker with nifty bat work. Puts the ball in play out at first. Kim steps to the plate, looking to continue the inning. Hard hit to right, Cam Bam is two for two on the day. The Raleigh Fizzles and the Marlins head to the bottom of the third with a 10 to four lead. Sid delivers. Short pop flight to center. Near collision and the ball drops for a single. Well hit ball to third, caught by Warren, out number one. Watch out, took one in the back, that will sting for a bit. Ground ball up the middle. Juno gets dirty and makes the play for out number two. We have a pickle situation between third and home. Jax to Warren, back to Jax. Back to Warren. Back to Jax. Back to Warren. The ball goes in the left field. Runner will score. How fun was that? Sometimes the best thing to do is to run the player back to his original base. But then we would miss out on all that excitement. Great effort by both teams. Zayden back to work with a strikeout to in the inning. Joe, I got more plans for later time. Do you want to hear about them? Do I have a choice? I was watching that dive. Drive-ins and dive show. They were on 4th Avenue doing some burger challenge. Nothing I like better than a good burger and a tall cold one. Do you feel like going out tonight? Thanks, but I think you'll take a rain check and going to the Purple Heart Park Snack Shack for dinner. Have been eyeing down their hot dogs and they're holding one for me after the game. Warren puts the ball in play, out number one. Great diving catch by the first baseman. And the Marlins are back on the field. The ball is bobbled, runner gets to first. Great bare-handed play by Zay, and he gets the out. Coach Bracey is on the mound to change pitchers. Great final performance of the year by Zayden. The Marlins now turn the ball over to Warren. Did you see that lightning? Warren delivers strike one, strike two, and strike three. Warren delivers strike one, strike two. And strike three. Two quick strikeouts into the inning. Great start for Warren. Nothing cooking in the Marlins half of the inning, and Warren is right back on the field. Strikeout. Ground out. Drew and Jack on it for the second out. Forgets the not to take the mound. Looking to finish off the Jays. We head to the top of the six. One run by the Marlins will put the game out of reach. It would be an important run, not only to close out this game, but also to save pitchers for the rematch tomorrow night. Speaking of tomorrow night, that's one of my dad's most well-known calls. That was a special moment during a great World Series. His call will live on forever. Certainly one of the best World Series in the last 30 years. Strike one. Full ball, strike two. Single up the middle, puts the game winning run on base. Jax advances the runner to third. Clutch Tuck is at the plate, and he does it again. A 
right, Joe, we are going to do this in honor of your dad. Take it away, Kevin. Marlins win, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Reminiscent of my dad's 1991 World Series call when the late, great Kirby Puckett willed his team to victory. Both of these teams get that opportunity tomorrow. Same time, same place. Winner gets a ring. Loser goes home disappointed. For Joe and Kevin, wishing everyone a good night. See you tomorrow. Credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. Congratulations, Marlins, on an outstanding player for us. Let's play ball, it's game day. We want strikeouts, base hits, double plays. Take the field, hear the roar of the crowd. Swing.
Smoking like the narco. narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the knock, got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wego. We'll be in rapping kilo. Yeah. Snub nose with potato. Straight out the jungle. Yeah, 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 yeah. This real rap, no mumble. Yeah, 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 yeah. My skin black like mumble. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Got stash spots in Honda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soft, sir. I'm shooting webs like worldwide. Man had it all the way to Yonkers. When they say Brooklyn, stand up. You better just fix your posture. And every hero needs this theme song. So who in here, church? You ain't got a chance, boy. What you think? I'm doing everything but the kitchen sink. I try to be feeling in the neighborhood. I know all the little grannies when I sip they tea. And here you come all barging in. All ugly like a brown fur cardigan. We can see that monologue and I argue. And I'm like, who in here, trying to start a day? Yeah, yeah, drinking dope, turn me to a superhero, yeah, yeah Hit that pill, turn me to a superhero, yeah, yeah. Boom, my 90, turn me to a superhero, yeah, yeah. Metro, yeah, your metro, don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you I'm on that dope again, I'm on that flow again, switch up the flow again, yeah, yeah Fly down the parachute, gripping that pole again, I'm on that all again, yeah, yeah Candy in the cup, gotta get paid, king in the streets Y'all nigga made, spraying on the crowd, take to the grave Ain't having problems, I'm sipping the bar Shout out to Dallas, my bitch is a star Nigga get rich, better take you to war Piss on your casket, shoot at your bra Do you something nasty, roll you in a guard Bitch get graphic, fuck me in a car I get your brand new roller tomorrow I put that brand new roll on your arm Ain't gonna slow, but I'm still on all Tennis braces and they came with the frost Cuban links all the way up to your jaw Step up the swag when I step Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? When you were eight and you had bad traits, you go to school and learn the golden rule. So why are you acting like a bloody fool? If you get hot, then you must get cool. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? The chucky thong. Your mother and you chuck it on your father, you chuck it on your brother and you chuck it on your sister, you chuck it on that one and you chuck it on me. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Hoje nós em conversa 
tô decidido e não é à toa que eu me joguei no Mandela Right outside of this one church town There's a gold dirt road to a whole lot of nothing Got a deed to the land but it ain't my ground This is God's country We pray for rain and thank Him when it's falling Cause it brings a grain and a little bit of money We put it back in a plate I guess that's why they call it God's country I saw the light in a sunrise Sitting back in a 40 on the muddy riverside Getting baptized in holy water And shine with the dogs running 